Hello, everybody. Uh, I just thought I'd get on and do a little, do a little video. It's not gonna be a guitar cover. Um, this is my Beatle um and Buddy Holly like CDs that aren't like really popular or are, like rare, or, like never released or just on these certain ones. Um, I got them from my local record store for free. The guys that are really good at record archive. Um, just go, you know. If you live in our area, uh, when this coronavirus is over, go to Record Archive, or they do, um, you can go and pick it up if you order it online, or something like that. You can go on and find out all the details, but Record Archive. Anyway, I'll probably be plugging them like a thousand times, but a lot of these I really like, um, I don't know what to call me, like, they weren't like, they were just like something that a person, uh, or different people put together and just they're not as you can I'll look, take a look at the inside or oh, I put another one in there but as you can see they're not like official CDs they're like you know like just like something that a person made and got all the old stuff I'm not so you know it's nothing official but it's just a lot of really cool stuff that you don't see every day even though it's not like a real thing and was never officially probably released I'm sure it was just you know, so uh, this first one here is, uh, could have been that, but whatever. We'll just get into this. Uh, so this is Buddy Holly, uh, Words of Music. And, um, it's got a bunch of different things on there. There's some stuff from the, uh, from the apartment tapes, like Buddy's Guitar, Peggy Sue Got Married, Slipping and Sliding, stuff like that. And then there's, like, uh, the three different takes of Take Your Time couple different takes of Fool's Paradise, and then there's a couple of uh, live appearances and some interviews, so this is really cool. Buddy Holly, Woods and Music. Next one here is uh, Buddy Holly and the Crickets, Take Your Time, and it's pretty much the same stuff as on here. Nothing nothing really too different. Um, take Your Time, the first three, ta the three takes, Old oh Boy, Peggy Sue, Think It Over, Take One, Two, and Three, Fool's Paradise. As you can see, sort of funny here. You can tell that these aren't official on track 9. Instead of, as you can see, at track 10 it says Fool's Paradise, but on number 9 it says Fooled without an E. So it's, that's, that's, you know, you can tell these. You know, it's like that rare kind of raw kind of stuff that just a different person made and it wasn't released officially really at all. Um, so, you know, then there's um, a whole lot of Lovin' and Winston Stops and Joel, Joel Blonde which are different things that are by other artists, but like Buddy and the Crickets play on. Like uh, When Sin Stops and I think Joel Blonde. Buddy Holly actually plays guitar on that, and that was jo uh, Waylon Jennings' first record. And then there's a couple other ones on here that Buddy Holly plays on in the Crickets, obviously. This next one, I believe, um, was uh, the name and the, the name in this picture, I believe, was used for... Uh, EP one time, but then they just used the same title and thing for, to make a little fake sort of CD kind of thing, sort of. And this one has uh, some of his, like, stuff that he made in his garage, like some covers, like Good Rockin' Tonight, Rip It Up, Blue Monday, Honky Tonk, which is a, um instrumental. And then, of course, here's another one where you can tell um, Blue Suede Shoes. Uh, where is it? I can't see it. <laughs> See blue suit instead of suede. So, you know, there's you know there's those different things. You now there's you know a bunch of different things. Of have you ever been lonely? That'll be the day promo jingle, which is pretty cool to listen to. And then the last few tracks are actually um, his last like in real studio recordings. And um, it's sort of cool that on the actual versions, there's just the song. But on these, you actually get to hear the person, I believe it was Dick Jacobs, that counted it in. You can hear him sing one, two, three, four to start off the song, which is sort of cool that you don't really hear any at, at all. Uh, this next one's called Buddy Holly Country Wise. I believe this was either released as an album and just never went to anything or was intended to be released as an album at some point. And this this uh, cover is really cool. The back picture actually is really cool. Uh, that's his little sister, and that's Buddy in... Uh, 1955 so i love that little back picture there it's sort of cool that you get to see that kind of thing another thing you don't see every day uh there's a tribute song on here 
Uh, and then, of course, just the same stuff. This is actually a lot of uh, his really early stuff, like from when he was with uh, his, in the early days with his friend Bob Montgomery, their duo. And then there's some early solo stuff like, uh, let's see, um, like uh, Brown Eyed Handsome Man and, uh, uh, let's see, what else is on here? Gotta Get Your Near Me Blue, which is Bob Montgomery and him, actually. Like, uh, Love Me, I Wanna Play House With You, Don't Come Back Knocking, that kind of stuff. And then there's his actual first original recording when he was made when he was 13. It wasn't a, a, official, but it was, like, there's something that he did with his brother, I think, brothers, when he was, like, 13. That's called Two Time and Woman, which is pretty cool to hear something like that. That is actually what opens the Big Buddy Holly Not Fade Away box set. So, you know, it's something you hear. It's just, you know, it wasn't heard at all when this was released. Not really released. And you know. But this one's pretty cool. Oh, my voice. Uh, this one's pretty cool. Uh, it's got My Two Time and Woman as well. And it's got all, it's got, like I said, more of his uh, stuff with Bob Montgomery. Some of his... Um, up, uh, garage tapes, um, then some more with the different people that he, him and the crickets recorded with, on different things like that, and then there's, um, the last little few tracks are the things that Buddy Holly, the big bop from Richie Valens did to promote their last tour, and the little, like, radio spot things that they did, so that's really cool to end off it, or end it off, so, next one here is, um, Called the Beatles Get Back, uh, John Barrett's reel, and um, I mentioned this again, but this is sort of influenced by Mean Mr. Mayo. So if Mean Mr. Ray Mayo is watching, you're a big influence on me. And if anybody, you know, Mean Mr. Mayo, he does a bunch of Beatle reviews, and he's really cool. So um, yeah, Beatles Get Back, like he said, and because he did just did a Beatles Get Back sort of video just today. So, um, and, you know, it's got sort of those, like, the stuff that he said, which is, uh, I've got a feeling, which is a false start, rip it up, shake, rattle, and roll, Kansas City, Miss Anna, Lottie, 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 Miss Claudie, you know, it's blue suede shoes, it's got a bunch of old little covers that they just, and this was in 1970, you know, so they just did it, you know, just like 50 seconds of just them sort of mumbling the song, because they don't remember the words. So, you know, and then they got, you know, like, certain versions of The Long Winding Road and Let It Be, Don't Let Me Down. You know, all the famous songs, just, like, different versions of them. Which you don't see every day. Some pictures on the back, obviously, there's Yoko, so. Yeah. Um, let's see, Sessionography 3. This was just a bunch in a pile that he gave me, so, you know, there's not two and one, which is probably the early, earlier stuff, you know. But this is the stuff from 1965. Uh, take it out so I can show you what's on here. Um... Some of it is stuff that you hear, you know, quite a bit. Like, there's a lot of stuff from Anthology on here. Like, yes, it is. Like, a bunch of different takes from that. You've got to hide your love away. If you've got trouble, that means a lot. That kind of stuff is really all on, on Anthology. Anthology number two. And then, you know, they got, like, Ticket to Ride, which is, I think, the final take. But I'm not sure. I haven't listened to these really lately. And then, take, um... This one is a lot of that stuff. And then the last few tracks, I, they say that it's, like, certain stuff, but it's literally the takes that they used. Maybe, like, there's, like, a little, like, alternate mix, but there's not much other than that. This, too, is more uh, stuff you get on Anthology and other things like that. And then it, there's some other different, a bunch of different things on that one. So, as you can tell, we're getting into the Beatles now. Might be some more Buddy Holly. I think there is. This is uh, Introducing Martha, which I think is a really awkward name for something like this. It's, I mean, it's just a just a bunch of... That, that picture is actually from the last Beatle photo session. So that's pretty cool. Um, Yeah, so, you know, it's got, like, one after 909, If I Fell, if, uh, I'll Be Back, Takes Two and Three. Leave My Kitten Alone, which is, you know, so, some of the stuff that you hear in Anthology. And then some... Just a bunch of different stuff. A Day in the Life, Take One. Bail of John and Yoko. Uh, outtakes, Medley. You know, different, just random things. Uh, the Beatles After the Breakup, which is nothing really, really special. It's just pretty much a lot of their solo hits. You know, it's got like, uh, I mean, it does have like a outtake from some of the people. Like, uh, 
John, I'm losing you. I'll take from the track double. Uh, I'll take from double fantasy. You know what I mean? So that you know, Paul. You know, so it goes. You know, John, Paul, George, and Ringo. John, Paul, George, and Ringo. I'm pretty sure for the whole CD. You know, it's got their their hits. You know, Paul, Venus, and Mars. Paul, Rock Show. John, give me some truth. George, all those years ago. You know, different. You know, things like that. Ringo, the No No song. You know, different just hits. And then a couple of rare takes and different things. I thought this one was actually pretty cool. Um, in 1964, the Beatles had to lose Ringo for, I think, 11 days because he had to get his tonsils out. So they got another drummer. Uh, his name was Jimmy Nickel. And um, this is per a lot of the performances. Let me see. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six of the performances with Jimmy Nickel, and a lot of it's just the same exact song, because they played the same exact song at every concert, pretty much. Um, you know, but it's just nice, you know, to hear, like, what they sounded like with a d different drummer. It doesn't make too much of a difference, but you can tell that, you know, you can tell that, you know, Ringo is that action. So, um, and the first, like, thing that opened up the album is, uh, the first rehearsals with Jimmy Nickel, which is sort of cool to start off the Jimmy Nickel, Beatles with Jimmy Nickel album. Uh, this one's pretty cool. I haven't really listened to it too, too much, but this is called The Beatles uh, with Murray the K. And, uh, you know, different radio things because it was, it was like they went on tour with the Beatles and different things like that. Um, which is, you know, it's just all their interviews and different things like that. So, yeah. This one, I haven't really listened to, but I'm sure it's what I think it is. This is George Martin. Um, instrumentally salutes the Beatles girls, or the Beatle girls, which is pretty much all of their song, all of the Beatles songs that have a girl in the title, or have a girl in the thing. So, you know, there's Michelle, Anna, girl, uh, and, you know, Eleanor Rigby. She said, she said... You know, different things like that. But there's some that are, like, really awkward on here, like, uh, I'm Only Sleeping, Got to Get You Into My Life, which I can see that, but, like, uh, Woman, which I'm, I think, that's a John Lennon song, so I don't know, I haven't really listened to it. And Your Bird Can Sing, Yellow Submarine, which is, I mean, they don't have anything to do with Beatle Girls. So, I mean, you know, sort of awkward. This is some more George Martin stuff, George Martin off the Beatle track. Uh, it's just... Pretty much all the Beatles hits and orchestrated by George Martin. You know, so all the hits, She Loves You, Can't Buy Me Love, I Saw Her Standing There, All My Loving, Please Please Me. You know, all the hits, and then there's a few non that aren't as big hits as the other ones. Uh, this one's called The Beatles' uh, Doll's House Rough Cuts. Haven't really listened to this too, too much. I mean, I, gotta, I really got to listen to this because I, I thought this... I didn't really know too many of these songs yet, or I did, but, you know. And this is a lot of White Album stuff. All of it is pretty much White Album stuff. Uh, there's uh, Savoy, Truffle, Cry, Baby, Cry, Sexy Sadie, Honey Pie. Uh, everybody's got something to hide sit for me and my monkey. Birthday, Your Blues, Glass Onion. It's all the White Album stuff, which is sort of cool. And that's a close to White Album picture. It's not really White Album. It's a pretty cool drawing, and same things on the back. So, we come to our last one of the video. This is called The Fab Forgeries. It's nothing, it's nothing special. It's just some of their hits and a few, and a few different things. It's nothing really, really too, too special, but it's sort of cool. It's an, it's an ace, it's not an ace tape, so it's a rare thing. So that is all my ones. I thought I had more, but I guess not. But there is all my sort of Beetle and Buddy Holly rare things, and I hope you all enjoyed. Owned by the, by the way, the, uh, Record Archive and me, Mr. Mayo. All right, thank you.